Hello guys, this is my 2000 Jeep Cherokee Sport, four wheel drive with the inline six. Just a little video about this truck. I know it's hard to just give it justice with the uh, photos. So I'm gonna do a little video and tell you a little bit about the Jeep. We'll start here in the front. Custom winch bumper. I ordered last year and had painted to match the Jeep. It's got a set of fog lights, a set of heavy duty Crosby D rings or shackles, however you want to label them. I lived in a boat for eight years, so I call them shackles. But uh, it's got a worn M8000 winch with, I believe, 75 feet or 100 feet of cable. I've got the remote control for it. It's not a wireless remote control. It clips right here. You can stand away from your vehicle or sit in your vehicle and help finagle yourself out of a pickle. This Jeep has had uh, new track bar put in. I put new hubs in it. And it's got new, brand new brakes, calipers, rotors in the front, brand new brakes and wheel cylinders and brake hardware in the back. I'm pretty meticulous with my vehicles and this is my everyday driver so I, I uh, did a very good job doing it. It does have new ball joints on the driver's side, a new track bar, and some suspension bushings for the uh, sway bar. Cover this here in the front. The air conditioning condenser here is brand new. The radiator here is brand new and it's an all aluminum radiator. I built this engine last year, uh, about this time last year, and I want to protect my investment so I bought a really expensive all aluminum radiator to help keep her cool. Transmission cooler was new also. Coming around to the side. She's got a safari snorkel. Hooked up and operational. It runs through a K&N filter through the factory air box. I'm a steel wheel kind of guy, so I kept the steel wheels. Coated them black and put a set of Cooper Discover STTs and they are a 30 by 9.5 R15 light truck. They're aggressive. I think they're considered maybe more a mud tire but with this Jeep nice and quiet going down the street <clears throat> excuse me uh, off-road which I'm not a mudding kind of guy but I've gone through some mud puddles and she grips real well. Um, Totally happy and pleased with these Cooper Discoverers. Um, I didn't want to go with big, wide tires. For one, I wanted to be able to keep this Jeep in the garage. So when I lifted her with a three inch lift, I didn't want to go too big because I needed to be able to squeeze in the garage. So I built her just the way it is and I, I built several rock crawlers and I'm totally happy with this Jeep. It does real well. It's got brand new shocks in the front, brand new shocks in the rear, along with the lift. Uh, the rear I put air shocks in because I had a camper <coughs> to pull the camper. I wanted to make sure that I didn't squat in the back because I, I hate that driving down the street and seeing trucks all squatting down in the back. So I wanted to make sure I could stiffen that rear up real good if I needed it. So it does have air shocks and a set of helpers on the back just to stiffen the rear up but it rides real good. No rust. The front shaft has been redone. And the rear shaft has been redone. It's got a uh, brand new catalytic converter I put on probably six months ago. I did a Flowmaster muffler. So I did both of those at the same time. Uh, she sounds real good. 
color of this Jeep is a Silverstone with factory tinted windows. It's just an all around beautiful truck. I get lots of compliments on it. Got a Sherco Safari rack on the top with a high lift jack and a lock rack. So I can lock my equipment on here without somebody stealing it. This rack isn't shoddy put on. This is put on with the appropriate mounting brackets for this rail. Uh, a lot of people just put these baskets on or safari racks on and put them on top of the uh, luggage rack supports and they're flimsy. This is pretty stout. Sunroof with factory tent. It's kind of rare in a Cherokee Sport to have that. That was something that I added. Um, new. It's uh, motorized and it slides and it just goes just back behind the uh, rack. <clears throat> I put a lot of thought into doing this. I wanted a bigger rack but I didn't want it to hang over my view from the sunroof so I chose the little bit shorter rack but it works out well. With these tires I went ahead and put uh, a little bit of rhino lining uh, at the bottom here just to keep stone chips and stuff down. It's got a cell phone antenna here that I think worked at one time but I left it on there. got a nice set of fog lights in the back. They were on a, uh, a Jeep that I had and I've had these in the garage. They're pretty pretty pricey and I don't think you can get them anymore. Markel lights. They're originally on the front of a Jeep that I had and I put them on there. They work real well. There's uh, where I get a lot of my stuff. Is Fat Bob's garage in Ogden, Utah. <clears throat> She does have there we go. All right. Does have a receiver. Now I put uh, I put a um, tow package on there to halt for my camper here. It's got the seven-way plug and it's it's wired for trailer brakes. It has a trailer brake controller. Um, receiver. You now I had to get an adjustable receiver for the back. Now the exhaust here, I've put a flange on the end of it. Let's see if we can show you that. And then a bracket here. And what this is, is I have this here I made, which I haven't used it. I, I've I haven't put this truck in the water, but I've had trucks that I have had in the water, so um, as far as deep water, this truck's kind of a virgin. I have no doubts it will, it's just no place to do it here. I don't like to ruin my equipment, so, but it works good. Let me try to demonstrate and hold this camera. Yeah, I'll leave it right here. So basically, I don't know if you can see, this just mounts here, take this uh, bolt out here real quick, stick this on here, and screw that flange on there. And then you stick your pin in. Oops. Sticking it the wrong way. There we go. So that's that. If you had to go through water, there's your snorkel for your exhaust. It goes on real well. It just screws on. 
I've driven it down the street with it on there. It changes the sound. Sounds kind of neat. But it's practical. I don't have the bolt tight here, so it's a little loose. And I put a little rain cap on it, which works good. I'll leave that on here for the moment. The shovel and axe, they also lock on here. You can remove them and they're going to go with the truck. The high lift jack will go with the truck. Interior is super clean. There's a power inverter underneath the seat here, mounted and wired. You just turn the little switch on. And it gives you a couple hundred watts of power, so if you had to charge, a, say, a cell phone with a wall charger, or a, maybe a DeWalt battery charger, or anything. The uh, controller for the strobe lights in the front is here in the glove box. Here's the brake controller. And I have it mounted on a switch. The strobes are here. Uh, I think this one's blank, and then I've got uh, one over here is the reverse lights, and the one here are the overhead lights in the front. It's got an auxiliary power outlet, a touch switch here for the fog lights in the front, and then your cigarette lighter. Ashtrays, only used for change and junk. Four-wheel drive works beautiful in this truck, super clean. Super clean, no stains. Mat's a little dirty, but there's the base. It sits right there. That's the base for the high lift jack. GPS I'll keep, but I'll leave the bracket. And the radar detector, I'll leave that too. That's uh, wired and mounted in there. There's the controller for the sunroof. It's a Wabasto German um, sunroof. It's got the factory tent. It matches the Jeep. There's uh, mirrors on both sides. And I've mounted a bracket here for your camera, for a dash cam. So if you're going through the trails, you can mount that on there and go through the trails and show you a video. You can find those all over YouTube where people do that. Emergency brake works real well. The seats are super clean. The carpet still has a nice shine. There's no stains or runs down it. You know, where people spilled coffee. There's none of that here. This truck was well taken care of from the day it was bought. The interior's in good shape. <clears throat> Excuse me. All the way around, the headliner's in nice shape. It's got factory speakers in the back. I, I believe I've changed them. I think I think all the speakers on this now are Sony. A little bit about that stereo. That stereo has a plug that uh, you plug your iPod or iTouch in. It also has an auxiliary jack. It also has a CD player. It also has remote control. Very nice stereo. I'm very pleased with Sony's equipment. Seats are in nice shape. The original jack, all the goodies. There's that. Oops, you gotta kinda hold those up, but go back here to the back. Let me set this back down here. Take this apart. simple. I put this back in. 